Hi, I've got the Maxi ECU PC package plugged into a 2007 Mercedes CLK and we're going to have a quick look at some of the features. So we'll try search for vehicle automatically. I think this one might be a little bit too old for it to read the VIN and decode it, but we'll see if it has a go at it. Oh, it couldn't find it. So if we just manually now pick the make and model from the list. So let's scroll down and find Mercedes. There it is. And now this is the CLK 220 2007, so that's this one. And 2007. And now I need to remember which engine it is. Uh, it's diesel and I think it's this one here. So let's go and have a look at the engine. And let's see what fault codes that we've got. It takes a few moments to connect to each system. And now I've got some options. Let's read the fault codes. Okay, we've got one fault code stored in here. And you can see now in the bottom corner of the page, we've got the options to delete the errors, or delete error codes, read it again, or we can download an error report. So we've got some live parameters here. So there's a good list of live parameters. And if we sort of select some of these live parameters, then we can actually go on and sort of look at the live values coming from them or graph them. So if we just select a batch of these here, Then you can see we've got the live values updating and we've also got the graph option at the side. And you can export it as an XML file as well if needed. So we've also got some tests that are available on the engine. A range of different tests there. We've got some ECU information if we want to look up anything about the ECU itself. Right, well, let's have a look at the next one on the list, so the climate control. Again, it takes a couple of moments to connect. It's an older car, so it's using some slower languages on some of the systems. Okay, well, let's check for error codes. There's no errors, that's always good. And what have we got? We've got some adaptations and live data, so we've got quite a good list of live data on this system. And then got some tests that we can run. So you can see there's fan speed tests and various other things. And then adaptations, I've just got self test in there. All right, so net, let's have a look at the brake system. So this is the ABS brakes. So let's have a look at the error codes. There's no codes, that's good. And we've got adaptations here. And let's have a look at the live parameters. This is a good list of live parameters there as well. Now let's have a look at the gearbox system. So it's a, an automatic gearbox on this car. So 
Let's wait for it to connect. So look at the fault codes. There's no codes, that's good. We've got live parameters again and some adaptations. And now let's look at the immobilizer. So we've got error codes. No, no codes, that's always good. And you've got live parameters in this uh, system as well. Right, and finally, let's have a look at yeah, the restraints so the airbag system. No error codes. We've got some live data in here as well. And that's it. That's just a very quick overview of Maxi ECU running on a Mercedes. The Maxi ECU have licenses available for a whole range of different car makes. As always, any questions on Maxi ECU or any other diagnostic system, please contact us at gendan.co.uk.